Alright guys, this has undoubtedly been a crazy summer, but today I thought it would be a fun video to talk about and go over my summer knife haul. Now, admittedly, I may not have been or I haven't been the most productive in collecting knives this summer, um, but as it draws to a close and by the time you guys see this video for sure, we will be well into fall, so I thought it would be a fun time to go over the handful of knives that I picked up this summer. So let's jump jump right into it. So first off, we're going to go over in chronological order what were the first or what was the first two last knives that I got. So it's kind of hard to remember exactly. I'm not entirely sure which one came first. It's it's been a long summer just just a little bit, but First off, we start off with the Civivi Cubit or Quibit, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm just gonna change this order real quick. Um, but the Cubit, Quibit, whatever. This was one of the first knives that rolled along this fall, or sorry, not fall, but summer. And this one, there's not too much to say. It was a good knife. And when I was making my move, this was the knife that I chose to carry on me. And I think it's because it is a good value and it was just a, a knife that I was not afraid to use a abuse and potentially lose. That being said, it's a lot of action and a lot of use. So very cool. Civivi Cubit is number one. Now number two, this is very dirty still, but this is my ABW or American Blade Works Model 1. Now this is their newer one in Magna Cut. This one is also in their Warncliffe. It has the Ultim handle scales and overall it's just a really, really solid knife. There's no complaints from me on this one. It absolutely gets the job done and as you can see with all the tape residue on it I definitely put it to work so really great great flipper action absolutely love this guy it is a fantastic knife for the collection and one once again probably one of my favorite magna cut knives in the collection um, so far so anyways, that is that one. Next up is going to be kind of a twofer. These two I got basically at the same time. The Savivi Spiny Dogfish, and this one is in Jade G10 and looks very fantastic. I do really love the Gavco um, collaboration, and I know a lot of people have said like this doesn't actually look that much like a Spiderco, or not Spiderco, but um, Gavco collaboration. And personally, I think having owned a Gavco full custom I unfortunately no longer do but having owned one in the past the near past I will say this is the most like a true um, Gavco custom that I've held of course you know all Gavco design knives are going to share any you know number of similarities and stuff but this one definitely takes the cake I really do like the spiny dogfish quite a bit it is quite a unique style blade and it does put in the work. Very cool knife, reverse tonto, compound grind, just a really cool, awesome knife. Now next to that is the TKL Knives Nightshade. And this one of course is the reverse tonto with the sharpened upper edge or swedge. This one is definitely more of a self-defense styled knife meant to be a stabby little guy. But nonetheless, this is like I said, the TKL Nightshade reverse tonto, and it is a really cool blade as well. Now I don't tend to EDC fixed blades as much, but this one does see some rotation carry and is overall pretty darn cool. All right, moving into the final uh, ones. These are going to be the three Emersons and one Protec. So first off, once again, chronological order, we have the Emerson Commander, and this is the full-sized Commander, not the mini Commander, not the super Commander. This is just the normal Commander. So this guy is, you know, fairly big. It's, it's a decent sized pocket knife. And I really love my Commanders. If you guys don't already know, I own a mini Com or mini Commander, and that knife is absolutely cool. And I think the same thing of the Emerson Commander as well. Um, I think that they have a nice shaped recurve as you guys can kind of see here. You know, it has a properly shaped or I think properly proportioned recurve to do a lot of good work. It's kind of an eased gentle recurve as opposed to a really drastic kind of recurve that is deep. 
So anyways, that is the Emerson Commander. Next one up is the Emerson Patriot. Now I've been on a little bit of an Emerson bend, especially for this whole year. Like in this year alone, I added the Ensar, the Minicom, the Patriot, and we'll talk about the Bulldog in just a little bit. So I have added quite a few Emersons this year, but I am not upset about that in the slightest. So like I was saying, the next one up is the Emerson Patriot. Now the Patriot is, I believe, a discontinued model. But once again, what I really love about the Patriot especially is it has this really nice kind of fusion that you don't see that often of a recurved, you know, primary edge and then a very deep, um, kind of buoy tip to it. So very cool, very nice. And I really do enjoy that very unique blade shape that having the recurve and buoy tip kind of combined together to make a aggressive, larger knife. So definitely on the bigger side of EDC knives, but not bad at all for what it is. Definitely a really good utility blade. All right, next two up are my last two and most recent acquisitions. The first one up is going to be the Blade HQ exclusive Protec Malibu, <laughs> Malibu, and this one is in CPM S45VN. Still some tape on it um, from unboxing things, but this one, like I said, is in CPM S45VN. They now come in CPM 20CV Magna Cut. I don't think they too frequently use S45VN, but I actually personally like their S45. So yeah, this one is, for me, I really, um, <clears throat> I think it's a solid blade and I really wanted to get a Malibu, have for a while, really wanted just a manual um, kind of button lock that was USA made. And so this one kind of scratches all the itches, so to speak, or checks all the boxes. It is super smooth, really do love the Malibu. And uh, it's, yeah, it's just a cool knife. It's very fun, very smooth. And uh, I'm gonna be doing an independent video on this one because I will say, I did have to do some few alterations to it to get it to where I like it to be, but overall a really good solid blade. All right, last one up and the newest acquisition, literally had it for less than 24 hours now, or maybe about 24 hours, is the um, Emerson Bulldog. Now this is the Emerson Bulldog in the Thunderstorm finish. So the Thunderstorm finish for those um, uninitiated is a custom finish that Emerson does. And it's kind of like a DLC coating that is also stonewashed. So it's the thunderstorm because it's kind of this, you know, like stone wash slash DLC coating. So it's a darker coating, but at the same time too, similar to like a true DLC, you know, in the right lighting, it almost looks like it doesn't have a coating at all. But then again, once again, it's also been hit with a stone washing. So very cool, very unique kind of, um, is, finish and just overall look to it. So anyways, this is like the Bulldog. It is a pretty cool blade. It's kind of like a hybrid, in my opinion, of something like maybe almost the Patriot or the um, kind of handle design of something like a Commander, but mixed with a CQC7 style blade that is, you know, very straight, very poignant Tanto or Tonto style tip with a very straight edge. So very cool. Um, this one, of course, unlike some of the others, like a lot of my other Emersons, they are all chisel ground, but they're V ground chisels. So that means that you do have a dual grind on this one in particular. This is a true to form chisel grind. So you guys can see here, there is absolutely no grind on your non-show side and then your show side has your full grind on it. So anyways, very interesting, very unique. Once again, I'm gonna do a deeper dive on the Bulldog itself, but I figured it was worth talking about, worth showing off. And like I said, it is a really cool blade and of course makes it onto the Summer Knife Hall. So that has been a look at the blades. Like I said, I have added quite a few Emersons this uh, summer slash this year, four Emersons the whole year, three this summer, but I really have been enjoying the Emerson. So there's been quite a few in the collection. And uh, I've also been enjoying the Protex and a whole bunch of other cool knife brands. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.